there's a billion people in India, but they don't have the same problem that China has. Like China has that weird problem where there's way more guys than there are girls. That's crazy. Yeah, they fucked up. The fact that they didn't see the math on that that one child policy. I think they'd be pretty good at that. The math. Yeah, I would think. Isn't that like a thing? <laughs> the guy I don't for? know. I don't know anything about I that. I think that. Yeah. It's like right. how the fuck did they not see where that was going to be a disaster in the future? Like there's a whole generation of guys that have no girls. There's like, what are you gonna do? There's yeah, no girls. They're gonna get aggressive. What the fuck are they gonna do? Damn. Yeah, not you good. Whack off the cartoons. Because like, even in this country where it's fifty-fifty. Yeah. Basically, do you know that like sixty-four percent of men are single, and only thirty-four percent of women are single? Huh. Like how? How's that? How does that even work? Wait. 64% of men are single? Yeah, see if we can find the numbers. But I and think women... it's, it's men of a certain Oh, you know age. what it is, though? It's just men fucking chicks that are like, we're not dating. Uh, that's what I said. And women are like, no, we're in a relationship. You know how it is. I think it's a little of that. And, then girl and she's like, what are we? Yeah, right. Like, what have you been telling people we are? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> we're nothing. <laughs> Can't I just use you, please? <laughs> Can't we just use each other? Yeah. Like the Bill Withers song? Unfortunately, I'm not a guy that, yeah, they want to they want to date me. I'm not a guy that like oh, oh I just wanna fuck you don't that get guy. used. I'm not like a hot guy. You wish you were used. I don't know. Mm. Do you? Uh, <laughs> occasionally, back in the day, that was the best thing. Getting used. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you had a gal that was just just wanted to fuck, it's pretty neat. Oh my god, especially if you weren't into anything else, because sometimes like. The reality is sometimes you're attracted to someone that you're not compatible with. Yeah. But they're hot. Yeah. So you just, you're attracted to them sexually. Yeah. But the, the problem is usually that one person is into the other person more than, you know, there's like psychological elements yeah. to it that become a problem. Certainly. Yeah. And if the guy is the one using the girl, he's a piece of shit. But if the girl is the one using the She's guy. The boss. Like, yeah, great. Way to yeah, go. Yeah, she's a ball. We did flip that. Adults between 18 and 29 who say they're single. Yeah, this is it. So there's 51% of men in 2019. What? Oh, sorry. 51% of men in 2019. And by the time it got to 2022, it's 63%. So the pandemic kicked it up 12%. Mm. But the women stayed the same and just slightly more. More um, who say they're single, so 34% versus 32% for women. But the men went up 12 fucking percent. But what they're, I think what they're saying is these women during the pandemic started dating older guys. So when oh, the nice. jobs went away and everything went south, they, they shacked up with some dudes with money. All right. Probably. Well, that's fair. I mean, wouldn't that make sense? Like, look at 18 to 29 for men. 63% are single. That's pretty wild, but age 65 plus. 18 to 29? Yeah, and you look at 65 plus, 25% are single. 50 to 64, 28% are single. 30 to 49, 25% are single. So that's what it is. It's the 18 to 29 guys. It's funny at 65 plus, <clears throat> there's more women because all the men are dead. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. That's not 40% are single. That's where it turns. Dudes are croaking. Yeah, look, as soon as it hits 50, the women start to move forward. Yeah. Because dudes start dropping dead of heart attacks, working 90 hours a week. <sighs> and just coming home and just hating their life. Mm. <sighs> it's got to feel good, though. What, to die? When you're like, oh, here it is. <laughs> oh, fuck, this hurts. <laughs> it hurts way more than I thought. Ah. <clears throat> That's a wrap. Yeah. Call yeah. it a day. I don't know, man. It's uh, the whole fucking finding the compatible person thing. Like, Jesus Christ. I can't imagine it. No, especially now. Especially with today. Social media, that hurts, dude. You can look it up. You start talking to a girl, you scroll back, you're like, God damn, she's got a lot of boyfriends in these, you know? See the Girls digital foot, the puss print? They have so many options. Yeah. A hot girl who's online. Like, if you, if you uh, are going back and forth with a hot girl, if you're a young guy now, you're a 30-year-old guy now, and there's another girl... And she's 30 also. Yeah. And you go to her Instagram, she goes, wow, she's really pretty. 284,000 followers. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, it's over. Oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. 
And then you look in the likes and the comments. It's you know, a it's Drake all fire and <laughs> God damn it. Drake liked it. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, totally. it's all rappers in there and athletes. Oh, oh. black people. Fucking rock stars. Everybody's <laughs> yeah, there just slinging Let's dick. Get, yeah. Everybody's just slinging dick. Yeah. Yeah. It's a tough time. It is a tough time. It'll be all right. You don't think they're gonna be all right? No, it's gonna it's gonna lead people to have sex with robots. That's coming. It's gonna be tight. Yeah. I think you're gonna go over a dude's house and he's gonna have a robot. He's gonna leave it out. You're gonna go, oh. Eh.